Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to a slightly different video today. Today I'm going to be talking about Carly Connected Car. You probably would have heard about these guys. They're sponsored all over, all the car YouTubers, um, and they're very well known across the car community. Effectively, this is an OBD2 car scanner, but with a difference. So this will do all your diagnostics and all that kind of stuff for your uh, car's live data. You can see the live data from all the ECU and stuff like that but also you can do lots of coding stuff with these. So these are really popular with the BMW community because there's probably the most you can do with BMWs. But I've got my Audi TT here today, so I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna show you what that app's all about and I'm gonna have a little look at what sort of coding stuff that we can do. So first and foremost, opening the box, it's got a nice easy to use sort of quick start guide and the actual scanner tool itself, which has some nice LED indicators on it. And then you just need to download the app on your device, it works with iOS and Android. So this just plugs into your OBD2 port and then it should be able to read the data from your car and we can have a little look at what coding options are available. What I really want to do, to be honest, I don't know if it's actually capable of doing it, but I wanna see if I can get my car to turn on the automatic parking brake when I switch the engine off, because I know that it is possible and it doesn't do it now, I have to do it myself, which is a really small inconvenience, but I'd love it to do it. So I'm gonna try and see if that's a function that I can enable, as well as just looking at a few other tweaks that you can do as well. Uh, a lot of the time you can do stuff like uh, program the lights to stay on for a certain amount of time you can set the car to beep when you lock and unlock um, you can enable a few coding features within the uh, infotainment systems uh, lock at a certain speed all that kind of stuff so let's have a little look let's plug it in down here and see what options are available so i'm actually going to record on my phone and take you on the journey with me uh, so there we go i've got it in my hand and i am just going to really awkwardly because i can't see it very well plug it into my obd2 port down here something like that so we can see straight away the uh, LEDs have come on, um, which indicate that it is uh, ready to go. So it's being powered. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up the um, Carly app on my phone. So I'm gonna start a screen recording just so I can take you along with me. And what I'm doing, I'm gonna head straight into the Carly app and it will ask you to sign up and pair up with the device. Um, so it says that my data is out of date, so I just need to update. Um, so it shows you your vehicle status and it will show, on mine it shows very bad because there's a few um, historical faults with the aircon and stuff like that. But it will do a full uh, report on there. Uh, it shows the mileage and stuff like that. So it's in kilometers at the moment, but I can change that in the settings, I believe as well. Um, so I can go into diagnostics and you can um, have a little look. So this was one that I did before. It showed that there was an issue with the um, tire pressure warning. Uh, and there was also uh, the, the historical air conditioning issue as well. So you can see all of the codes on there and it will give you a basic understanding of what they mean. Um, and you can enter the uh, smart mechanic system and that basically will bring up some information about the fault code. So it shows a guide um, and it shows basically uh, a rough idea of what, that, what, what could happen as a result of it, what the errors could be and what related uh, issues might come up because of that so it's quite a good way of looking at it really and you can obviously copy and paste this into into there i can even see uh, some things about the the parts that might be uh, need, need to be involved to, to fix this issue so that's the health of the diagnostics of the car then i've done that off camera just to save a bit of time but you can also go into live data to see any sort of um real-time stuff so let me just connect up to the actual scanner so this is when it connects via bluetooth and that only takes a few seconds now I do have a basic diagnostics tool that plugs in and just tells me the codes, but it's really nice to see all this information in one place and to be able to make adjustments and things on the fly as well, rather than just clear the codes, it's really good. And I can also see the live data from the car as well. So uh, stuff about engine speed and any sort of error codes that come up as we go. So that is really useful. Um, you can also do a used car check in here, very similar to car vertical uh, using the VIN. Um, and then we can also see other features and customization. So if I go into diagnostics, um, that's where we were before. So let's go into live data and go into the OBD dashboard. So if I now go into OBD live data, you're now ready to start. So I go into OBD live data and I can continue to the parameters screen. And basically here, it will show me all of the information when I press start monitoring about the car. So it shows the intake temperature, the current engine RPM. So if I give a blip of the throttle, you can see the engine RPM change, oxygen sensors, throttle position, um, and you can add as many as you as you want on here. So there's loads and loads of different things that you can add, stuff like the uh, oxygen sensors, uh, run time since the engine has started. So I'll add that on there just to show you um, that you can add a few different bits of data. Uh, fuel tank level input, uh, when I press start monitoring, again, those things will come up. So I can see the engine's been on for 41 seconds. I've currently got 40% 
in the fuel tank, which is really interesting because it shows me a lot more information than what's on my screen. So you can really go in to a lot of the information here and this will obviously be useful if you've got a very specific issue, you wanna get some live data to, to get that information. The fact that you don't have to plug in a large sort of uh, code reader machine to do this, you can just do it all from your phone is really, really useful. So let's come back out of this then and come out of the live data section and look more into the coding features. So this will connect up to the car and it will show me if there's anything specific that I can do. You've even got uh, battery monitoring on here now in terms of discharge and also seeing if you've got um, like dash cam is, is uh, bringing your battery down and things like that. So that's really handy. So I've got a lot of different uh, options that I've got here. So let's have a little look. So uh, central electronics section um reader so it backs up the coding data as well so if you were to do something and it causes a problem with the car it can just revert it back to what it was originally so that's really useful the only downside of this process is it does take quite a while to access the the different ecus so um, you've got to be a bit patient when you're going between the different screens so here we go we've got options for example for us side lights so that's keeping the indicator on um us turn signals we've got um uh, some of the rear light functions so i think you can also enable the rear brake light the, the brake bar as a permanent thing and it just brightens up when you brake i'm not a big fan of that but you know that's an option there uh dimming the number plate lighting while the trunk is open so there's all sorts of bizarre options that i don't think i would really use but there's lots of customization that you can do daytime running lights parking light on um daytime running lights on low beam uh side markers brightness of the brake lights you can change lots of brightness sections cornering light while reversing is on comfort close optical confirmation don't know what that is audible confirmation on locking so that's what i was talking about when you press the button it beeps i'm not a big fan of that but you can add that if you want to uh, rear wiper comfort function we don't have a rear wiper so deactivate rear wiper is already on also um, door module passenger i'll be interested to see if there's an option to get it to dip um, i think that is something that is um it's capable uh, release lowering side mirror deactivates and activates the release for automatic mirror lowering in reverse um, this code may be necessary to activate the function i'm not entirely sure that this will work because i don't have power fold mirrors on this one but i'm going to code it um and just uh just see what happens so i've got to turn the ignition off and on again so i'm going to do that i'm going to open the door i'm going to come back in and turn it on it works <laughs> i'm actually staggered by that i did not think that that was a thing and it's not going to go back into um it's not going to i need to go forward now to actually demonstrate that this works i don't believe it i thought it was genuinely something that i had to um have the power fold mirrors for but it literally just dipped and i can now do that that's that saved me so much time because I spent ages faffing about with the button, um, moving my mirrors down when I go to park because I thought that that just wasn't built into the car, but I've just coded it in. You've just seen me do it live and you've seen how shocked I was. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. So yeah, there you go. That's something that I didn't know I had that thanks to Carly, I now do. Um, synchronous mirror adjustment. Uh, so I think that's so that you can adjust both mirrors at the same time. I don't care about that. I don't want to do that. Um, yeah that's really cool though that's something that i did not at all think that was possible so let's have a little look at some of the other options in here for the instrument cluster and see if there's anything else that i fancy adding uh, needle sweep is on that's cool start logo there's a few different variants i'm guessing maybe tts and ttrs don't want to do that uh lap timer I, well i didn't know that I wasn't enabled i thought that was an option on there anyway um uh, engine display for oil temperature that's interesting um, you can add that if you want to and you can change the units and stuff like that display driver information system is already on compass on uh, refuel quantity don't know what that is uh, speed warning of 75 mile an hour no thank you very much um, and volume of units liters yeah so there's a few different options in there um, i'm guessing uh, seatbelt warning is already off that maybe have already been disabled uh, there's a few bits in there yeah i think i think that was disabled during some other coding that we did to the car 
uh, some park distance control stuff. Um, so I'm guessing this is to do with how the parking sensors work. Uh, audible confirmation, yeah, that's cool. I've got the uh, rear view camera in this as well now. Uh, the brakes one, it wouldn't actually allow me to go on there. Let me try it again and just see if it works this time. No, so it won't allow me for some reason to go onto that module, but I'll have a little play around with that just in case um, there's something I'm missing there. But I mean, I'm chuffed with just the, just the mirror coding, to be honest, and the fact that I've been able to see um, all of the things uh, wrong with the car um, in, in one place. I can see all the live data that I want to have a look at if I'm worried about anything, and it shows me repair guides for any of those error codes and stuff as well, and anything that it thinks that I need to do. It shows me my um, service uh, schedule if I want to do that as well all the customizations. It's just such a comprehensive app and it's so easy to use. Um, it's well worth checking out. And if you wanna check it out, I've got my affiliate link in the description below. Um, helping helping the channel uh, is, is something that you guys ask for all the time. And that is a real great way of helping the channel is to hit those affiliate links that I put in the description just so that I can benefit from some of the um, incentives that they give me for that. It helps me keep the channel going. It helps me pay for the things that cost to, you know, to film these videos for you guys and enables me to continue doing it. So it's so much appreciation for, for you guys for doing that. So if you head to the Carly link below, um, that will really help the channel. You can get yourself the Carly uh, OBD reader and the app. Uh, there's also a little bit of a discount on there for you guys as well. So make sure you go through that to get the best deal of Carly. And thank you guys so much for watching. This has been uh, really interesting, actually. I didn't think there was anything that I was going to code today that would really <laughs> be life-changing for me, but you have no idea how much time that's going to save me. So, uh, yeah, something as simple as that is worth it for me. Uh, it's, it saves me going to a garage and, and having a look and getting it coded in and going through that process. So if anything goes wrong with the car, I can just have a look on here. It makes life so much easier for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Check out Carly in the link below, and I'll be sure to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.